Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful cardigan. You won't believe how easy it is. I wanted to show you something different but elegant. Look at the shape, look at the back, it's opened. I made three different pieces, okay? So I made one big piece that goes from the sleeves and covers part of the back and then two second piece that will be from here i leave this part open then we will join with this sleeve and i made the second one exactly the same for the other side then i make this extra stitch to the grid. I hope that you like it and make it for you, so I hope that you make it with me in different colors and you can also create your own combinations. But well, let's don't lose more time, first I will give you the material list and then the step by step, but before remember, you should be subscribed. Well, before we start, I want to explain you how we are going to make it, okay? So, I made this drawing. So, we made first this rectangle that we cover part of the sleeves and the back. Then, two more pieces that will be the two fronts. So, once we fold it, we are going to create the sleeves. So, we are going to make 200 chains approximately 120 centimeters and of wide we are going to make 40 centimeters with this stitch that I will show you then for the two more pieces that we are going to make that will be one front and one and the second front we are going to make six uh, 100 chains 60 centimeters wide and 60 centimeters long but well, we will start making first this rectangle. We are going to make the 200 chains. I already get ahead, so I will make just a sample with 30 chains to show you the stitch. But remember that you are going to make it in the measurements that you need. If you want the sleeve longer, well, instead of making 200 chains, you are going to make more. But remember that if you want to make it longer and in a larger size, remember that I'm a large size, you are going to need more material, so you have to take that into account. For this cardigan, we are going to need 500 grams of this material that is between fine and light. I will make it in this olive color and we will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters and we will use the embroidery needle too. So this is the material list for a large size. So here we will start making some chains. Remember that in your case and according to the drawing, we should make one hundred chains but here I will make a sample with just 30 chains well imagine that here you have the 100 chains we are going to make five chains more then we will turn over twice we will count five and in the sixth we will insert the hook and right there we are going to make double crochet okay so we take two and two and we leave the last loop in half. Like this, we are in the same place, we are going to make three double crochet. Remember that the first chains that we made will be for the edge. So here we have two, let's make one more. So yarn over twice, take two and the last two and leave the last loops in half. Once we have these three double crochet in hold and these four loops, bring them through and make one chain to close. So here we have the first sleeve, then one, two, three, four, five chains. And then we will count up to three and in the fourth we are going to insert the hook and make single crochet. Then we are going to make five chains, one, two, three, four and five we will count i mean yarn over twice count three and in the fourth we are going to insert the hook and right there we are going to make the leaf so three double crochet in the same place leaving the last loops in half okay once we have all these loops in half bring them through and make one chain to close then one two three four and five count 
three and in the fourth insert your hook and single crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well look here I'm finishing my last leaf so we are going to make one chain to close the leaf and then here in the last stitch we will turn over and we are going to make the last double crochet of the edge like we made at the beginning remember right here well so the next row will be like this so but well let's finish this one first so here we are going to make the last double crochet for the edge please don't forget it's very important then turn around and the next row will be only of chains so here we will go up with three chains and right after the leaf we are going to make single crochet then one two three four five six seven and eight and before the next leaf right there we are going to make a single crochet then one two three chains and after the leaf a single crochet so like this is how we are going to continue making three eight and well before and after the leaves a single crochet well these two rows will be one series okay well here just at the end we are going to make a single crochet and then we will turn around so we are going to continue making more series like this one alternating this Row. So for example, I will show you how we will go up and make the next row that will be the row of leaves. So this is what we are going to make. So we will go up with one, two, three, four, five chains, turn over twice and inside this space where we made the three chains, remember, right there we are going to make the three double crochet and leaving the last loops in hold to make the leaf so as you could see we are going to make leaf over leaf we are going to bring them through and make one chain to close then after we are going to make three four and five chains and we are going to insert the hook right here in the middle and make single crochet then one two three four five chains and then in this space we are going to make the next leaf and this is how we are going to continue as you could see we have all the leaves facing to the right side okay because when we turn around the row of chains the arches that we made were facing to the wrong side and when we came back again we turn around and we started the next row of leaves you see well like this we are going to continue and this will be basically the stitch well for the three pieces of the cardigan i follow and i made the same stitch okay so i finished remember that we started with 200 chains and it measured 120 centimeters then in these uh, two pieces and well these two rectangles have 100 chains and it measures 60 centimeters long 60 centimeters wide i made two pieces exactly and then the rectangle that we made for the back and that will be part of the slips too now once that you finish to make these three pieces i will show you how we are going to fold it i suggest that you crochet loose okay relax well here I have this long rectangle that will cover part of the back and of the sleeves too, okay? This is the one that I made with 200 chains for a large size. I will show you how we are going to fold it. Right now we are having this rectangle facing to the right side. So I will show you how we are going to fold it. This is the wrong side so we are going to fold it like this okay with the wrong side inside and we are going to sew to make this sleeve but before i want to show you how many series i made three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay so we are going to fold it and make the sleeve please make sure that here your arm fits okay I think that the uh, crochet is a bit elastic so in my case it was perfect according to my measurements according to my arm so if you need to make more rows we'll make more rows 
so you can feel comfortable and your cardigan fits perfectly. So we are going to fold it, this will be part of the back, and then we are going to sew the other uh, part to make the second sleeve. I will show you how we are going to sew. We will use an embroidery needle and we are going to use the same yarn, okay, so we can perfectly blend it. So we are going to match these uh, two pieces like this and we are going to sew. Oh, but you know what? Mm, now that I'm thinking, I mean, if you want, you can sew it too, but I think that I will use my hook because if not, the stitch will look kind of weird, no? If we match these two segments, I think that I will um, crochet, I will make first three chains and we are going to go in kind of zigzag. We are going to take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side and we will go in order. We are going to slip one to join and like this in zigzag we are going to join. So we are going to turn around then we will make again three chains. We will go to the other side with the, yes with the other side we are going to slip one then three chains, we are going to come back and in order matching all the pieces, if you want you can put some markers to point it out where exactly we are going to join so we are basically going to join where the joints are in zigzag like this making three chains and three chains and we are going to join until here Well, so what do you think of this technique? I think it's it looks so much better. So I want to show you how I join in zigzag with this sleeve, then in the other side with the single crochet, then I come back and then I join with the single crochet. As you could see, I insert a hook in every joint of the segments and of the stitch and I continue like this making a zigzag. I want to show you how many segments did I join for this sleeve. So here I have three, four, five, then we have six, seven, seven segments for one sleeve. So we are going to join the same number in the other side too. And remember this is the back, okay? And here is where we are going to put our arms here in the both sizes we will have or slips. So we are going to repeat what we have just made in this sleeve in the other side too. Once we have this piece ready, well now we are ready to join the other two pieces. In this step we must have the two other pieces ready. We are going to join a little bit far of the armhole all around here and in the bottom and here we will stop and in the other side we will make the same. I think that here will be more clear. So look, so we have the sleeves. So here we finish to join, right? We have both sleeves ready. We have our second uh, segment ready. So I join from the armhole here where we join. I made, we will count one, two and three segments, so here I put the markers, we are going to join and crochet to join right here and then I did continue from the armhole here to the middle of the back. If you want here you can take the exact part of the back and then from there you can extend this piece and join. And for example here we have our second piece ready, please make sure that once you join these pieces are facing to the right side the wrong side should be facing to the inside okay so we will start right here in the middle we are going to put some markers then we will turn around and we are going to continue joining to here okay so we must have the same number of segments in one side and in the other and we are going to join the same way that we joined the sleeves, okay, in zigzag. Here if you want you can make the same, instead of starting to the front we can uh, please pin, 
mean, I mean first <laughs> pin the back and then continue to the front, okay? Like you want, both options are okay. Just make sure that you have both segments and the same segments in one side and in the other. And remember that we are going to continue making this zigzag stitch, the one that I taught you of how we are going to join, I mean, the same way that we join the sleeves, right? I hope that this is clear. It will look so beautiful too. Here at the end, I will make some rows in the front so I can close it more. Okay, so far it's looking so beautiful. But well, once we have joined, you will try on and you will see if you need to increase more rows in the front so you can close it a little bit more okay remember that we will leave the back opened and well we almost ready we almost finished this beautiful cardigan as I told you we are going to make more rows all around this front to increase a little bit the size and if you want here in the front like we are going to make more rows all around the neck and the two fronts we will decide if we want to make the same stitch also i will see if i have enough material to make this stitch or sh should i change it for a simple a more simple uh, stitch but i will see first i want to join i want to build my cardigan we are going to make the zigzag all here in the back and in the front and once I finish I will show you how it looks and we will decide which stitch we want to make for the front well here I want to show you I already finished to join look at the sleeves as you could see here I continue in the front and then under the sleeves and then in the back you may have some segments left in the back but don't worry you can leave it there to make a little pleats in the back i think it look beautiful too and i made the same in the other side too if you want you can try on and if you like how it looks on you it's perfect if not in my size i want to make more rows in the front so it could cover a little bit more and I could close more okay but this is up to you as you could see we are going to leave the back open I think it's beautiful and different from all the cardigans that we have made so we are going to make more rows this is up to you and we will decide I think that I will continue making the same stitch I will show you how I will make it here I, I don't know if you could tell the join so it perfectly blends, so I think it's perfect this technique and well as I show you here in the back we make just some pleats because we have some segments left but I think that this effect it's beautiful too for the back to create some volume if you want before you can put some air markers to see how it will look and well here if you want as I told you we are going to start from the back and to the top but like you want okay um so far we must be in this step now i will show you how we are going to make the rest well here first we are going to make these two rows of chains we are going to make six chains and single crochet six chains and single crochet after these two rows now we are going to start making the leaves this is this row so well first let's finish to make these rows, remember all around that will go to the first front, the back, and to the second front, like this, and please make them a little bit loose. Well, here I'm about to make the second row of lips, so here I will go up with six chains. Remember to make them a little bit loose because if not, the shape of our cardigan and of our fronts will distort if we tie too much okay so like this a little bit loose we are going to continue making six chains and we are going to insert the hook right in the middle of the last wave that we made and like this all around until we finish so this is the second row well here to close the row and to finish the row we are going to make the last 
a double crochet for the edge okay so here we are going to finish with C with three chains sorry and we are going to make a double crochet that will be for the edge okay so we can have this part is straight so now turn around and now in this row we are going to start making the leaves so we will go up with four chains that will be the double crochet for the edge and then right there in the same place we are going to make the three double crochet of the first leaf remember that we are going to leave the last loops in hold then we are going to make one chain to close and then five chains and we will insert the hook and make a single crochet in the next wave then one two three four five chains and then in the middle of the next wave turn over again and insert a hook right in the middle and make the next leaf okay three double crochet leaving the last loops in hold so here we are making a review of the stitch that we made and remember that we are going to continue all around with this stitch that will be part of the front, the back and the second front so look I will give you homework after this row of, of leaves I will make two rows more of waves remember six chains and single crochet we are going to insert right here and we will finish with three chains like I show you okay so you will decide if after these two rows of waves with only chains you feel that it's enough well you will stop right there if not you can make one row more of leaves just check that the leaves are always facing to the right side okay but well let's continue well guess what I did more rows so here we started with two rows of waves then the leaves then two rows more and then I made one row more of leaves and I finished with one row of waves as you could see I alternate the spaces where I put the leaves so here I already try on and I will stop making more rows I will just make one last row that will be with a different stitch and we will use it to decorate the bottom all around in the two fronts in the neck and in the sleeves too and also in the back so we are going to sleep until the middle we will make four chains turn over twice and in the same place we are going to make this double crochet here we have one two And then we are going to insert the hook right in the middle of the next wave. And like this we are going to continue making more shells. In the bottom and in the sleeves you are going to calculate the distance between shell and shell here. Well we are going to insert the hook right in the middle of the next wave. But you will decide the distance, okay? Try not to pull and to too much because if not it will distort the shape with this we finish and remember that we will use it to decorate the bottom and the slips and the back too and well with this we finish I put the same stitch in the back too all around the sleeves in the front and in the bottom I love the result I hope that you all make it remember that at the end we are going to iron using a protection under please extend this, this stitch and very soft and gently pass the iron through it and it will look beautiful I think that it will be an amazing piece to gift or for yourself so I hope that you all crochet this beautiful cardigan with me I think it's different from the ones that we have made but well I want to invite all of you to subscribe remember that it's very important and it's completely free also follow me on my social media and please comment this video and share this video if you like it thank you so much for watching till the end and stay tuned for coming videos please take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Take care.